Hey, good everybody. This is Ken's Progress Farm. I decided to do a, um, this is going to be my let's play for, um, Walker Farm. When the, um, uh, when the, um, Harvest DLC comes out. We Harvest DLC. Um, so this is one I'm going to be using. As you can see, there's no seasons involved. It's all straight up. This is how I've just put it together. Taking everything off, of course. Um, got the old shed down the back here. We've got some cucumbers going here. We've got some tomatoes going to be happening here. Bees, of course. Uh, the house itself, I did not um, put the dog kennel in there this time. I've chucked a pool in the back. We're going to run some Australop chickens. My great great grandpappy Pappy was one that um, uh, developed that line, so we'll be running those. Another little shed here for the other vehicles. We're going to keep the Stang and the uh, Mustang in the in the house, and um, the other work trucks there. I we'll put these big um, open sheds in, so we can just run some equipment and stuff in that up in here. Um, I've kept everything that was on Walker Farm, all the equipment, um, the, go down a bit, everything's inside the shed here at the moment, um, like we've got the um, cedar and that ready to rock and roll, um, the ute's parked underneath the, the sprayer, don't do this at home, <laughs> that's a bit deadly isn't it, <laughs> and they're nicking that just chilling there in the arms. They're always around, but you know what? They've got doubles in this map. If you go down to the, the workshop in town, you'll see that uh, Nick's down there, and Leg Arms is near the um, burger stand. Yes. they got those, what do they call them creatures? Those double, double dudes. Double, double. I can't remember what they call them. But the ones that duplicate you. Because they're such superstars. <laughs> Uh, here's the um, the bale storage shed. I'm gonna put it down the back here. Looks looks really good there actually. Kept the original tanks. Um, this this one here is gonna be for um, like loose stuff, um, loose stubble and stuff. I like um, straw and and hay and that to um, keep up with the demands of the pallet um, factory when it goes in. I probably will, after I've harvested this, I'll probably come along and put a platform going from here, straight up to here, and then across, <coughs> and claim this part of, like, I could all grass and that in there, and then claim that for the factory, and, <coughs> excuse me. One or two, maybe, um, no, nah, I don't think I'll do that. What I might do is love the, love the factory straight across the road here, where the power and everything is. I'll place them here directly across from the, from the farm, so the trucks can go in and out, that sort of thing. <coughs> With the grain. So there she is, the old, um, chin shed. Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. There we go. Nice little concrete platform out there, foot implements. I tried to keep all the. So I had a problem with the other uh, the map that I had. Um, I don't know why I just did that, but anyway, I had a problem with the map that I had because um, these trees wouldn't form in the yard because I had seasons and stuff on it, and I, I love this house from lizards. And I wanted to make sure that it was, um... I can't, I can't go inside. What's going on here? Thank you. I was going to say, what's going on here? Yeah, I love this house from Lizard. Um, open the back door, let some air through. Just 
give you a little walk through with this house. There's a spare room here. The main room. Or maybe the spare room. I don't know. Whatever, man. You can open that door to go outside the pool. Of course, we've got the aircon. Uh, a couple of little hanging pots in that there. Which go well with the hanging pots on the actual beehive. Behive yourself. Yes, this this um, pool fits in here nicely. It takes out all the grass out of the course, but it doesn't get rid of any of the trees, which is great. We want trees. We love trees. Yeah, like I said, it wouldn't it wouldn't take so I um, got rid of that map and put this one. See so the hanging pots. There's all the bees going in and out and doing their thing. I don't think you can gain access to here. No, you can't. But yeah, every map I've got to have bees on it. I do bees myself, by the way. I'm an apriest. So, of course, we've got the cougar, uh, cucumber one here. Nothing in it at the moment, because we haven't put any manure in that in there. And water, we'll shall do that soon. And this one, did I put it the right way? I put it the wrong way, didn't I? Put it back to the front. Oh, that's so I can get in here and pick me some of see. Why isn't it open? Oh, it doesn't. Wrong mod. Yes, yeah, so I love the woodwork in that on these um, glass houses and that. Looks good. This thing here. This is the original. Um, see how that's. See that? I didn't. I didn't even judge that. I was up in the air placing this with the castle. And look at that. The trees fit perfectly. Look at that. That was a good score. I don't know what the deal is with these, obviously. He's in the ground here, man. Look like maybe block bag or obviously there's a wheelie bit in that there, see? Or the top of wheelie bin, I should say. The old auger. But yeah, that was placed perfectly. I didn't even. See, the only problem with placing this is so you got the tree here. I did a bit of work around here and put a, some grass, a nice big rock as a structure, but here, this is the reason why it doesn't matter, you know, it's off the ground a bit, but I don't care, because if I try to tear up on that, I'll stuff it up, like I normally do. Um, yeah, like I said, all the loose stuff's going in this shed. So it's a beautiful place, isn't it? I'll put these old girls in, because they don't get enough, for it, um, enough of a show, the old rusty old tanks, so... But no, I'll do these guys. We've got lighting out there as well. See, I didn't have enough room to put two of them in there. And with the concrete pad that comes out to here somewhere. Uh, it would only let me place it there. Probably could have put two new, new ones on, but I didn't want to put new ones on. I wanted a, a bit of a rustic look, like this rustic look. You know, the old shed down the back corner near the house. Because you can't have everything that's um, brand new on that on here. Like we've got all these great bloody spandex type sheds from um, Easy Shed. Keeping the old silo, of course. Uh, they had one of those wave bridge things the other day, like a wave bridge type thing here. A little office and then had a, a wave bridge uh, that was a mod that came out but a um, couple of people I know um, they've tried it and they said it doesn't work like this, it does nothing so um, it's just a cosmetic thing so that is it that's the um, farm at the minute so what I was going to do is I need um, I'm keeping all the big bud stuff, but normally I wouldn't keep it. What, Mr. Hollywood? Nicky baby, right? So this old girl up. Love the sound of this old V8. See, boys, keep up good work. I'll get out there and do it all. <laughs> By the way, I keep saying this is the perfect map. If you want to build your own place like this, 
the groundwork, um, like the template for this. I kept the workshop in that there because I, I was going to keep the the um, the uh, big buds. That's the only reason why. Otherwise, I would get rid of that as well. Um, like I said, they're in town anyway, so it's not as if they're off the map. But this old girl over here for now. Because we're going to buy some equipment. And you're going to help me. As you can see, I've, um, I've cheated that money in. up up there. Because first we're actually going to buy some property as well. So... Like I said, this is going to be my let's play one, so um, you're going to come along for the ride. There you go. Whether you like it or not, suckers. I want to start doing, um, like a, um, what do you call it? Um, my live stream too, so I'm going to be using a few of my maps for a live stream situation. Get that one first. Bang, get the big money out of there, see? That's why I've got so much money. Right, we want the grass field. I keep doing that the wrong way. And number four. And we'll go across from 12. Basically, we'll buy up all this area. And that will be the farm. And I'm running out of money, aren't I? Doing all this and equipment. There we go. What was it? I ran out of money, see? So I'm not even good enough to buy equipment. We can stick with the equipment they've got, but... Um, yeah. Oh, Connor and I need a couple of trucks. Can't just have one. And these paddocks are going to have to be road trains, I think. So what's the actual... Yeah, I'll buy that. There we go. Make sure we've got that piece of land. Okay, so now we're going to have to cheat in some more money. Or, maybe we just jump in our harvester, which is a town here. And we'll connect up to the... I've got to put my steering wheel on later to start running the um, wheel. Haven't got Montana, um, like I said, I haven't got the... Um, I've got a map or um, another map that I've got called Big Sky Montana. Um, that's on my second player on, on PlayStation. If you don't really like the second player. She's got a farm. She hasn't got a name. She's um, this guy's sister. So you see this guy here? That guy? That's his sister, basically. Let's say that. So, what we've done is we've brought the stuff in the guts here. Is that our one there as well? See, if I start doing it now, I want to do this when the factory comes out. So, I'm um, catch 22, you know, do I start it now and start harvesting? stick all the straw in, it in the actual um, bunkers like gather all up and dump it in there wait, waiting for them to come along well, what's the story mm. catch 22 in it well, we've got one truck here at the moment so might as well just um, I think what I might start doing is start reaping the reaping the goodies off of this one and then what we'll do is we'll um um yeah we'll, we'll start getting it all off so everybody's got something to look at and then um what we'll do is we'll we'll cart the um grain to the our silos first and fill them up and then and then we'll um um, start bringing the I'll have to get one of those uh, what do you call it um, forage harvester things and start picking up all the the hay and that and start putting it in the shed like the straw I mean preparing for that 
um, make sure I leave this locked. I do. No, 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 I didn't want you to go on it. I wanted to go on it. Alright, you go on it for a minute then. That's what good. Um, I need to buy. Went the wrong way, didn't I? Need to get a forage wagon. Like I said, that, that right there, I was right on it. Uh, which size do we need? Uh, I'm going to watch out for slot case, uh, slot um, count too. I think I might just go that one. It's got a decent size um, take on it. Uptake, I should say. There we go, we'll grab that. And then we'll grab um, young fella. Where is he? Not you. Are you? Um, should I take these implements with me? No, I won't. I'll leave them there. So now I'll go down and pick the um, forage thing up. Yeah, I decided to grab this yard because then it's got the extra tanks in that there as well. Fertilizer and everything else. I tried to keep everything as much as I put on the farm. And walk a farm. Due to the fact that I wanted to um, just start off like that, because um, before I, if I pull apart of the map, like Walker Farm or anything like that, I pull it apart and um, I get rid of everything, including big buds and that. Like I've had a map that I've made up before with challenges and that I want it. Um, that's the one with the uh, manor house and that. But then there was a, I sort of stuff up and took the um, MF thing off. So all the concrete, uh, like the brick um, barns and that sort of thing were all taken away, the buildings. So that sort of stuff that bit up. So um, I said, okay then, we'll do it another way. But this is, you know, like you, if you're building a map, this is the map to go to. Don't worry about any other map, right? Just do this one. You can have the one paddock, you can have two paddocks, doesn't matter how many paddocks you have. But um, if you're going to do a map, you do this one because the simple fact is that um, when you put placeables down, you do not have to terraform. Like, okay, that tank back there, it's sort of sitting up at one end, you, may, you might want to do that. If you're good at it, I'm not good at it, so I ain't going to do it. You see the fog in the mirrors of this tractor? It's all foggy behind us, is it? Oh, no. It's not dust, is it? No, it's fog back there, see that? Maybe it's registering for seasons, eh? Right, I'm going on the main drag now, so I'll put me, um, put me flashes on. Or flash air. I forget, I've got jewelries on this, so I've got to watch out. I'm a bit quicker than the car, so I'll just go around. Good eight. I was going to hit it, didn't you? I mean, look at that corn there. That corn's really rock and roll, man. I um, I have a map that um, his sister's got. Um, I have to come up with the name of him for him, eh? But anyway, um, on his sister's character, um. She's made up a map and she put um, sugar cane in that whole number two paddock behind the farm where we looked at before. And I said I'm going to take all that out and put all grass in there. Well, that one there. Um, I spent from 7:30 in the morning to I think it was 2:30 2 or something when I went to pick the kids up, and then I turned around and um, didn't um, finish it off the rest of the night just put sugar cane in because DJ Goham tricked me he, he, he showed me a, a val, val, valstead or whatever they are those yellow and um, red harvesters um, like cedar um, and he was planting sugar cane with it and I went oh beauty you, you can plant sugar cane with that thing with that mod so 
I, uh, of course, after watching it, I jumped off there and was all happy and thought, oh yeah, I'll be able to put all sugar cane in everywhere now. And then, um, no, no mod. DJ tripped my ass. He clickbaited me. Yeah, so I had to do, like, with a double one, and I did a single one as well. So I had two tractors going. But I completed the whole paddock. And so it's now growing sugar cane. But the good thing about that is that um, once you harvest it, you can harvest through it again. It's a repeat, repeat harvest crop. That and that prop propolis, the little trees. I was thinking about putting a paddock of those in one day. Not here though. It's too bloody big, these paddocks. That's why I like this map too, because it's huge paddocks like um, Western Australia, that sort of thing. The new Western Australia maps, um, yeah, pretty good. Although that's what happens to bloody kangaroos, man. When you stick them in captivity, they go crazy like that one. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out Mr. Silipi or something on, on, um, on PC. If you don't have a PlayStation, or if you can't have, uh, or if you can't get Ningham, Ningham Farm, Western Australia, if you can't get that farm and put on your thing to watch and <laughs> see that stupid kangaroo um, old um, kangaroo jack or you can just um, go on Mr Silly Peer like I said on YouTube and um, check out his gameplay like his um, walkthrough I mean first look he has a lot of those for every map and he'll show you that crazy kangaroo <laughs> it's a local in the capessa for sure so we had a problem with kangaroos in that um, few years back with blind, blind root disease. They were getting um, blind in that from some disease that they had. Um, yeah, so they're running around, you know, starving. Basically, they couldn't see what they're doing and that poor bloody things. But look, 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 look. See that? Is that like dust from this harvester, or is it? Is it fog? It's not that foggy out there. I think this is dust from the harvester. I looked in the mirrors before. It looks like it's all dusty or foggy. Is it? Is it dust from the harvester? I think it could be dust coming off the crop from the harvester. I wish. Talk about realism. Oh, we're going to start this and then I'll bring the truck over for this guy. Right, so now we want to well, I'll go out so you can see what's going on. Lower it down, turn it on, and we shall start picking it up. And we can turn our flasher off now too. The beacon light, what do you want to call it? I was using the steering wheel mat, I was having the flashes on. Which I shall do. I've got a button box, I've got the thing in there, but I hardly ever use it. And I also have a G29, uh, G27, sorry. Um, full G27 uh, for American Truck Simulator and that, which is on the PC, which I can't use. My laptop is old one, run it. New ones didn't. So I'm tossing up wherever to get the um, DLC with the uh, 9XR and 9XR X uh, something R or something else it was. Um, anyway, the, the Quad track one. I'm um, tossing up whether to get that cedar pack and that because they're saying that the um, the cedars or something something's happened with them. I can't remember what they were saying. Um, but um, only for the uh, Lone Oak John Deere farm that I've got. I've got a case multi play, but nobody wants to ever play on it. So if you're watching this, and you want to play on the multiplayer uh, for Lone Oak, I'll, I'll change the time of that so it actually puts in more crops and that quicker. Um, uh, check me out, send me your friends request, as long as you ain't one of those silly bloody girly things. And then, um, yeah, do that, and then I'll, I'll um, put you on my friends list and then I'll organise a time for you to, to jump on and we'll play it. And record it. How's that? 
to be able to see a mug on the PC or on um, YouTube. Wouldn't that be cool? I'm not on here 100, uh, 100 years out of the time, but I can organise a time and place where we can uh, all got to get on here together and just do it. Someone wants to start doing some Red Dead Redemption stuff, like doing a fishing, whole complete fishing program and that sort of thing. Just a fishing session. Some other things he has in mind. Like I've got uh, Grand Theft Auto, which I do, I'm doing director mode and that at the moment with the, the different characters. But um, if we can get some players up to get on there and start doing some you know, role play stuff would be good. Right, I'll start stuck on this up in here. And when that DLC comes out, we'll be able to, um, we'll have some stuff ready to rock and roll. With that pellet machine and that. Yes, man. Can't wait to get the one lane in the paddock. I'll just go up and down, clicking all the swap and, yes. I remember when DJ, um, DJ, they, um, um, Dagwin was doing it for 17 and that, um, yeah, I was a big follower of him back then, and, um, I hardly ever watch him these days, I'm always watching DJ go here, for some reason, maybe because he's crazy, because he keeps bloody leaving his birds around for me. Every time, he's like, DJ, come get your stupid birds, man. He says, get out of here, birds. And they fly from there to here. Especially on low note. That's very annoying. Right, so we'll park this one up in the shade. So I don't get a hot seat and I don't like in it later. There we go. Park her up here. And then we'll jump over to the truck. Yeah, I know you're waiting. I think I've got crop destruction turned off. I'm going to change the colour of this truck in a second too. I'll whiz it back down to the workshop and change the colour. Because it's going to be white. I know I know on their farm they've got a red and a, a blue one. And they've got um, the brown inter. Is that inter? Yeah. Stout. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's inter. Or eagle. Mm, can't remember what buddy brand is. Anyway, they've got the big brown beastie with the super cab and they've got the um the Peterbilts I think they are. Um two little can um Peterbilts. And they've got the Eppies of course. Um, not the Eppies, the um the Ford trucks. The green one and the um Blue one with the red bin. Yes. Ford, um, Ford Louisville. Good old trucks. But yeah, get jump over and check their channel out. I was, I've started watching Nick when he was doing the um, Farmer Simulator play, game, play through thing. <laughs> But the only problem with all these, um, it's like the low stream thing, I'm going to have to get used to it myself, is like talking to the people, and it's like, really man? There's one guy I was watching the other day, he's really, really annoying, um, because he, he, I think he was trying to drive, yeah, he was, he was trying to play Farmer Simulator, but, um, he's got a big moustache, and I don't know who his name is, but he, he just kept smashing into everything there was, and running off the road, and stopping and, and just talking to chat all the time it's so annoying trying to watch something and it's like if i wanted to sit there and listen to your chat mate, you know, so i turned it off straight away as well not straight away i listened to about 30 minutes 40 minutes of it and that was enough for me it's like man are you even going to do anything it's so annoying when they do that like talking to people and, and answering the questions is one thing but you know, when you're not doing anything at all, 
and you got listed that you are playing Farm Simulator. See, I watch a lot of stuff and um, like maps and uh, like to check out maps and stuff. And is the workshop in here? You boys going to do something today? No, it's not in here, is it? Did I get rid of it already? Oh, sorry. Nick, is the workshop in here? No, there's no trigger in there, is there? Oh man. I mean, I have to go downtown to see you down at the workshop in town. Alright, I'll do that. So, we're going to drive downtown just to change the paint job. I could buy another truck and delete this one, but. I don't want to. Yeah, these um, base game warrior trucks. Oh, there's nothing wrong with the modern ones. They're, they're really cool. They've got uh, so many different combos. Like I use the sleeping cab ones mostly. And I have used um, on Charwell Farm. I actually used one of the uh, the short wheelbase one, um, not not the um, forklift or whatever it is, the lift one or whatever they call it. The the one up from that with a proper tank and that. But it's only got the single little bogey on it, and and um, uh, the Wilson trailers, the one with the pup trailer on it, and that was the combo I used on um, Showell Farm, and then I used the man truck, which was a little bit too long in the chassis actually, although now uh, Black Sheep Modding has chucked their um, old man in it from 17, um, that's a shorter wheelbase uh, in the chassis, so I can throw that one under it, um, the B double, and because I heard DJ say that you can't run semi trailers on that map. So I said, want to make a bet? So I did. And I am. Ah, oh, seriously? Big wheels, we're all moving on. Now that's the best style shaft, staff ever, eh? Now, I'll show you where Nick is. He's around the corner here. See, I love that old wagon there. The old Woodside wagon. Woody. I love that rusty look. I wish they had that shit. See, on PC they've got rusty stuff. Um, where do we go to for here? I think I'll park it in here. If I can. Yep. Then I'll go out to there. I think it's right out in front, but we'll have a look in the workshop here. They're doing up this old um combine here. Combine harvester. And look who's here. See, I told you, one of those double 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 dock things. Whatever they are. They cloned him. Um what the hell is that in your hand, Nick? Uh oh, he's got weapons. So he told you he's a dangerous one. Ah, run away. See? And as we pull out of here in a minute, I'll show you. Ah, uh, customize, please. Um, yes, can I have a white paint job? You know what I should do? I should put me normal garlic. I love garlic. Yep, that'll do, thank you. Right, now I'll get my truck. Now that's white. This goes along with the big buds, you know. That theme. I know they got a red one and a blue one, like I said. But hey, look, look at that. Old rust bucket. Cool. See, I love this old machinery too, they go hanging out. Now, we pull up here. Yeah. Hey, muscles. I can't see him. He's in the shadow. I'll get out and have a look. Scott here. Hello, hello, hello. What we got here then? What are you doing in the pocket? You're playing for your copy. What do you got there? I'm curious. 
Is that Legan's Mrs? Doesn't look like her. Is that her sister? Next Mrs? Could be, you know. They look the same. <laughs> Are they twins, actually? In real life, I mean. Let's see there they are. So if you take that, if you take the workshop off the farm and um, make it your own map, they still will be on the map. You know, you can always put this place up at the um, where the um, other yard is, um, like that. That um, I think it's at the top of the map. Is it the top of the map? Where it's got leg arms, um, um, trucking company or something like that. Or is it 17? I can't remember now, but I think it might be up the top of the map with a way up over yonder, where that plane's heading. Um, up by the woodstock and that. I think it's there where I saw it. Um, don't hold me to that, but somewhere on here it says Legum's um, Trucking Company. Legum's his nickname, by the way. He's got arms the size of his thighs. Apparently, that's what it is, I think. It's got legs for arms. There you go. Did you get what I'm saying to you, Jimmy? Alright, no, uh, what we got here? Spin this truck around. Whoa! Now, I'm waiting for somebody to bring an update out for this one the Low King and put a hip, tow hitch on the back of it they probably don't have them but you know I want to put a, a dolly under it and use these as road trains big long ones with double compartments you know have a three up road train on one of these man oh man like Wilson's got the doubles in it and I use the um I use the Wilson trailers, um, I use the V-double at the beginning and I use um, the pup trailer combination, the A-double a or something they call it, the A-train um, for the pup trailer one, anyway. So I use the front pup trailer one, take the pup trailer off and get delete it. Get a V-double and delete the, um, the um, back trailer. Then I put the um, a, uh, a for the V-double. Um, trailer on the back, um, put the uh, put the other one on the back of it, like with a tow hitch, and then I get a dolly, a uh, feet with a dolly, chuck it in between, um, and then I I grab the other um, B double and just throw it on the back of the dolly. So then you've got a four up, or like a two up B double. Or you can just do B double, B double, B double, make a triple, and then one of these trailers behind if you want to make a four up. Oh, I have to move forward, sorry. Um, yeah, it's up to you. Completely up to you what you do. Like this map here, it calls for road trains. Screen is it. And going through the silos and that is, is no big chore or anything down in, in the actual town. Uh, the, the main silos in, in the actual down the road there. They're not really down the road, they're off in the distance. Down at Shelby. So we'll just pull him up here. And we'll bring this guy back up because we're doing some work here today. Now see I had this on seasons and that before um the one before. Um just so I can like put what I wanted in the paddocks but um, basically I'm still gonna do what I wish to do and once once we start getting some harvest and that in and that um, some gear up ready for the um, the straw harvest mod to, to come out then um, I shall show you exactly what's what's going on with that 
so you are able to see it in action straight away because they'll have some gear up ready like some some stuff already stored away for it that's the whole point of doing this now because you know I just take the trucks down and put up the solos that sort of thing <coughs> I was thinking the other day that I might just do a um I might do a triple combination but with the Wilson trailers like triple A's uh, for the B doubles, you know, the front front trailer. I just put three of them together and then put a um, a Wilson on the back of it. We'll try out that one for a change. With of course my favourite truck, the um, the Warrior, the in-game Warrior, with the thing and cabin that in white, of course. I think white shows off the chrome a lot more. It's got so much detail in um. Like you got on the on the front of the the bottom of the truck, you got um, like a chrome deflector and stuff like that. It's got some other stuff added to it, you know, like chicken lights and stuff. And, oh, too far to one side. I try to get all these um, things as much as possible, so I don't have to come back from later. Like we're killing time anyway, you know. So again, you know, like uh, I, I was going to do a whole heap of um, stuff on um, 17, Granddad's Farm and all the rest of that, but I decided that I was going to give all that away and just start going through my maps because I had too many of them and just strip them down. Like um, I got low notes again the other day. Um, not low notes, but um, Actual Farm because I had on I had on 17. Um, Oxen and David did a few tweaks to it, like put a few more um, things next to the, the pit and that sort of thing, passageway through there and that sort of thing. But um, yeah, um, so then I, I, I said to myself, uh, I'll just add that on. And uh, I got Dole Ranch, I made my own Dole Ranch um, map as well there. Um, split the pad that big paddock up into about four paddocks, I think it is. Just so it's more manageable. Uh, put different crops in that in that way. Um, what else have I got? I've still got Charwell at the moment, but I, I don't know how long that's going to last. I got rid of Summer Summer Somerset. Do you get um, what did I put on there? Oh, the the Ninga mat. Ningham um, Australian map that's what it was I chucked it out so I can get that on I think one of these silos takes um, straw as well doesn't it I think it's the um, it's a, a take everything one so I'll start putting some straw in the silos as well we'll just give that a little bit of test just here in a second because that shed's going to fill up real quick as you can tell it's nearly done you can start doing bales and that but um, we shall check out all the avenues so we we'll go up in here and it says dump yep so that's R1 and triangle for dumping I'll let you have a look at it She's pretty quick on dumping this thing too, eh? Yeah, so this is a design layout of the yard. I've got just some machinery in that sitting there at the moment. I haven't put it away yet. Fix the coil and that. They all. That's why I got those big open open um, plan sheds, um, the easy sheds for the um, so you can just drive and drive out basically. So when I got this semi trailers I can just like drive straight under them I will start doing some of the farm itself later like a couple of ones there that I want to put some stuff in but out the way like that old shed there I might start putting some bales up in there I know I've got the big bale thing down the back but the flexi curl fits nicely in there it's a free bay one too I made sure I put the big one in it 
go, turn it back on again. And away we go. You've got this um, thick runoff thing, so it's better, better to go slow through it so it picks it up and then you can hammer down if you stay in the right lane. Right, so let's have a look in this tractor for a minute. We'll have a look around. We've got the tunes up there which we can't play. Um, you know, everything's at your fingertips. Looks good. You do a bit more mud in the ground on the floor. <laughs> oh, which, which map was it? Um, Mercury Farms, I think it was. Um, with the Mercury Farm one, I think they had um, the tractors with the with the lived-in looking. <laughs> they looked like they were all, um, yeah, muddied up and everything, which was good. Like the second-hand tractors, that was excellent. All needed work done to them. I liked it a lot. See, I could put fast dirt on this one and give it that real lived-in look after a bit. I don't like pressure washing all my tractors and trucks and stuff. I like them to have that sort of rusty look to them. PC, it was cool, but I, I started getting all the old Russian trucks with the big Russian trucks. Not not big, but look old. Yeah, with the with the chase pin and that on the back of it, and the auger. There's an old rusty one there. Yeah, I'm sure it's a Russian. But um, yeah, that was the first one. I went, yes, that would be perfect on my, because I was going to do the Western Australia map or the Australian Outback map on on PC. And that was going to be my auger truck for, you know, taking grain out and filling the trucks up or seeding that out, I mean, filling the trucks up with my auger truck. Boris the truck, the Russian truck, he's Boris, he's good. I was watching uh, the new map, um, the, um, uh, the one they're playing at the moment, can't remember what it is. Um, <sighs> mind blank, mil, mil slip, no, or something like that. Anyway, the new map, uh, um, when he went to the, when uh, Mr. Silly Pete went to the dairy, they had an old comma van there with the, the cow print and all like, the dairy stuff on it. it was, oh, that could have been the French one, actually. I was watching. Maybe wrong one, sorry. It'll be um, the French one. I can't remember what it is, and that's called something French anyway. But um, yeah, it had a comma van there, and it had um, like the like the um, old decor, uh, like all the old paint job on the side of it, and that, or the dairy. And I went, man, that looks so cool. <laughs> hey, my old man used to have a couple of comma vans. When Commodores come out here in Australia, they're, they're um, holding car. Um, he used to say to people, oh, I've got five Commodores. Two on the front, two on the back, and one on the side. Yeah, anyway. He used to annoy him. Probably still does, since now they're out of it. So we'll just turn that back on. It should be just a simple turn on. Yep, there it is. But it's still lowered. And away we go. Get back, get back, get where we once was. Check it out, check it out, check it out. This thing has got a bit of power to it, this little thing too. That's why I decided to keep the thing. And never underestimate the uh, Massey Ferguson's. Although the, with the new tones, um, like engine tone thing, uh, doesn't sound too cool. They started with the Massey pack for the old Massey Ferguson's that were on 17, the little little Massey Ferguson's, and um, 3000 series they brought out. But um, they were going to bring out the trailer pack and that like um, the accessories and that, you know. Um, but they were supposed to be coming out next, but I haven't heard anything from them. Because uh, I'd like to get some, like, because those Massey Ferguson's, and that, I haven't actually used them on any of the things yet. 
I was going to use them on Charwell and that, for the older little tractors and that, but I really don't use little tractors. I like the beautiful little grey one and that they got there, and the older, the, the grey one, the red guards and stuff now. And even the international case, international one. Yeah, that's cool. Um, those sort of things were, they're, they're like a, um, I filled up. They're like a child or a special, you know what I mean? For a map like that where they can actually put some gear on the back of them. I actually put, um, uh, what was it, the, um, on Ningham Farm I've got the Massey Pegasus and the grey one with the red guards. And I just put one of those new um, ploughs, uh, um, subsoilers, the case ones that just come out of the twin pack. I put that behind it, so I'm going to start doing it. See, it's real foggy in those mirrors, man. Um, I'm going to start doing a um, paddock or two with those and see how it goes. Might change over the Case International, but I want to use some of the smaller tractors since it's his granddad's farm. Um, yeah, I want to, I want to you know, like with granddad's farm, Ballon Craig Estate on 17. I used all the smaller tractors. I heard they were going to bring out the classic, um, classic pack. On, um, where was it? Oakfield Farm, the back shed, uh, where you see the, um, you know, the horch cedars originally in, if you know the map. Um, I had that shed decked out with all those classic tractors at one stage, that was a collection. <laughs> See, if you, when you're playing your own maps, you can do whatever you want, you know. You can play it any way you want to play it. Like, um, you know, I keep pulling this map apart and making my own maps and stuff like that, and which is probably annoying to the map maker. I don't even know who the map maker is of this one, actually. Oops, my bad. Um, but it's good they um, walk or farm, let them do this map not exactly what what it is like distances and that sort of solos and that sort of stuff but hey man it's the bestest map the guy who made this map's cool I'll, I'll have to check it out and find out who it is <laughs> I mean like honestly I do not know and I keep talking his map up all the bloody time about how good it is you just put placement things down you know he's just done it right you know what I mean so I'll find out who he is and give him full kudos Everybody's probably just looking at it right now and going, oh, that's how it is. But yeah, I've just been playing at 17, uh, 17, is it Bullet Bill? Uh, he's more, oh, he is American maps, isn't he? Yeah, Lone Oak was my American map to go to, but, um, like as in the building wise and stuff like that with all the the farms that he has around the place all the different buildings like see on um uh, west coast i think it is is it west coast or colebrook farm estate um i think it might be colebrook farm estate um maybe it's just farm um anyway all the textures on the, every single building on there has got a different texture like every house like it's not just generic same one on one two it's like every single one has got a different texture like a stone texture or a rendered or i mean like that's cool man i like that i like that a lot because you know when you're living next to your neighbor you don't want your place to look exactly the same as it so you do other stuff to it well that's what he's done yeah bullet bills good map maker and of course, Suxton and David, like, um, I love Oakville Farm because it's a satellite photo, you know. Um, he's made it the way it was supposed to be, or as much as you could, which is good. Like, uh, the do with the Ninga map, Grandad's Farm, um, you know, the, 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 the tractor dump is cool. We love farm dumps scavenging around farm dumps um 
Yeah, recycle, repurpose, reuse, mate. Everybody's, everybody's upset about the vulture has been in there. <laughs> oh, that's cool, though. Everybody I know is going, why have they got all the vultures in there for? <laughs> yes. Is this funny? Excuse me, mate. Can you move over a bit? Buddy? Hey, buddy. I'll have to go do this. Come on, why not? Yep. Hey, buddy. Did you just see a real bright light? Look at that, look at that, look at that, see? Look at that loking there. Eh? It's a proper depth, proper fucking size and everything, man, but it's just. There's no two bar. There's no way of making them doubles and triples. Like the Australian map, it's got road train signs in it around. And I've done a couple of, um... What do I do? I've, I've used, um, uh, Black Sheep Modding's little, um, man trap. Um, yeah, I used that straight away. No, you know, left the doors open, of course. Jumping in and out. <laughs> But yeah, I put the, the, I think it's a B double, triple B double, I mean a double B double, or it might be just a B double uh, with the extra length on it, like um, with the low king here you see you've got two compartments, because it's a 60, okay, can't, can't see what that was, um, 60, whatever, what is it? What's it say it is? 60 ton? I don't know. But you got the 36 trailers, right? Uh, oh, the reverse light's just shone on that um, thing just under the, that bar hanging down there. See those shiny bars? And I thought the green door come open. I'm tripping. Don't worry. I'm tripping, man. I'm tripping. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Um, these are, are full length trailers, right? So behind the B double, uh, you got 36 and a 36 trailer, right? So sometimes I take off the back trailer and put the um, the full length one like this on it, and there's a proper B double, you know? What do I mean by proper is that's what we run in Australia. A lot of B double trucks now, um, there's hardly any singles anymore. Although the last time I made that bloody statement, I was down at Blanchetown and I was looking at the bridge. I said I listen to trucks roll across the bridge for those um um for the guys for American Truck Simulator and um I was gonna show on the B doubles but then it turned out to be a couple of singles going across there. And I went, Yeah, that'd be right. <laughs> Look like a fool again. Right, pickup should be still hanging down. Picking up, yeah, it's picking up. So it's like when I'm dumping in the um, the trailers, so I'll, I'll, I'll just keep an eye on them from inside the cab. Oh, that's my phone buzzing away there. It's on silent. Silence is golden, golden. Uh, what's that say? Chocolate. I'll piss off 1.5 metres to kiss. I was just Telstra telling me to stay 1.5 metre away from people. Yep. That's uh, 100% again because I noticed it took off 100 mile an hour. Yes. I've already had one warning, not to mention it. Hey, nobody gives a shit that I got emphysema or not. It's a, it's a disease that I'm actually dying of. It's, a, it's, a, yeah. There's no recovering. So, um, you know, and a heart disease as well. So, that's why I'm doing this stuff actually. 
I decided to start doing it since I was cooped up all the time. Can't work anymore because I died for 40 minutes the first time around. So, um, 